Welkom bij mijn kanaal. Oh, shoot. <laughs> Waarom praat ik in het Nederlands? Oké, okay, back up, back up. I started with Dutch and I thought to myself, what's going on? You see, that's what happens when <laughs> you haven't filmed for a while and you think to myself, something is wrong here. So I started off by welcoming, well, I tried to welcome all of you, so... I'm gonna start over again. Welcome to my channel. My name is Mulder Glee. My channel is Fat Danny Lines. So I do some crafting today. I had a little chat on Instagram with Yi. She asked me, hey, when are you gonna film about crafting? And I'm like, oh yeah, that's right. I haven't filmed for quite some time about crafting. So I grabbed some stuff. I I'm not prepared. Normally I'm prepared, but today I tried to search my stuff and I can't find it anywhere. I really don't know where I've put it. The stuff that I'm looking for is... Uh, I'm going to show you. I'm going to show you. So I have this little boxy that I need to put somewhere. And there's a beautiful wax seal stamps, but I can't find the box with all the different colors of wax seals. Um, well, not wax seals, the waxes, the, the like droplets. I can't find them anywhere. I don't know where I've put it, so now I have a problem. I have bought some new wax seal stamps and I don't have the, the wax. I really can't find it anywhere. I, I don't know. Oh, it, it makes me so mad. So I'm stuck. It's not actually about these seal stamps. But these are... I found it suddenly. I'm like, what am I doing actually? <laughs> what am I doing? I'm looking for this, the waxes, not the, the, the seal stamps. Well, still I have a problem. <laughs> Let me start with having a lunch. Uh, I have uh, steamed some buns. This is the vegetable ones. And this is, um, I think, more the flour and the eggs. That's why the uh, color is yellow. So I have to eat that first. I'm going to, this uh, semi, it's not really sweet, but a little, little bit sweet. When, when. Asian desserts talk about sweet. It's not actually really sweet. The, the, when you go to the specific country and they'll say, hey, it's sweet, then you have to beware. Because uh, I think the last, uh, for, for 10 years, I think, because the Western people love actual sweet things. And Asian are more prone to a little bit sweet, you know, to satisfy your... Uh, your need, but not to overdo it on sugar. So this is not so very sweet. A little bit. Oh wait, did I show you? Okay. Mm. There's nothing inside. I clenched my I. Yeah, I clenched my teeth. Yeah, that's the word. <laughs> There's nothing inside. I, I didn't talk with my mouth full, so. Really nice. Mm. The minute I took it out of steam, it's really hot, so I had to wait a little bit. Otherwise, I could not uh, hold it. I have a little thingy. My son works at a Chinese supermarket or a oriental based supermarket. Supermarket and he gets some free stuff. So I'm gonna take the paper. Like I said, this one is vegetables.
No miro. I'm eating this quickly because when it's cold, it's um, it's well, it's better or preferred to eat it warm or hot. So I don't know what the white stuff is. I think the color is like light brown. I think due to oxidation. But the other things you can still see what it is. That's carrots. Mm. Up. You. <laughs> That's what children say. Up. That means I'm done. That's a little water. Because while I'm eating, my mind is running like crazy. Think about what I'm I going to do with crafting. Because I still haven't. Um, made up my mind how to do this because I want to do really different things that I have not done before okay I'm curious Let's see. okay Oh, it looks like little, little coins. It it's it looks like pancakes, you know? Little droplets of pancakes, but they're kinda of crunchy, so it's actually more like a a, a cracker cookie. It is not it is not salty, it's sweet. Okay, I'm gonna end munching. Okay. So here are a lot of samples. Uh let me see. How much? Three, six, nine, ten, twelve. So twelve times two is twenty-four. Twenty-four designs. Oh I should have read. <laughs> I should have read down. Here, yeah, twenty-four sheets. 250 GSM, so quite thick. Mm. Let me see. This one is nice. I believe it was last week. Was it? Yeah, I think it was last week. Um, Pioneer roses were like 1 euro 99 at some particular supermarket. This week is 2 euro 49. I think I'm gonna get some of these. The Pioneer roses, like they are in uh, in uh, beautiful buttons, and then you put water, and over time, I think, like mm, when the moment that you bought it, you bring it home, and uh, till three or four weeks, then it starts to open slowly. So that's beautiful because normally roses, especially now when it's so hot, it's really hot outside. When you have roses in the house and it's so hot, well. They are already done within two days. So because the the weather is too nice and the roses can't survive in the in the heat. But the best uh, flowers I think is Pioneer roses. I'm gonna take this one. Oh, oh. oh shoot. You see what I did? It was already cracked open so I need to be careful I don't oh. I don't want to rip it and then suddenly I have two pieces in my hands am I able to do this without I don't think I can do this can I do it oh yeah yeah there you go there you go mm. No. Mm. I did my best I think I'll grab this this page, this sheet also. 
I think that's it. I don't want to use any more. That's all of them. Yep, yep, yep. I'm going to put it aside. I have no space anymore on the table. Because I have here on my table like three projects running. I'm filming one of them. So that's why it's so busy on the table. I have to grab my paper uh, cutting machine. I'm not going to do it with scissors and a ruler. I used to do it and then I did still manage to do it like a skew. <laughs> and I think for myself, uh, I think it's best to buy a paper cutting machine so I can do it straight. It's a little bit dusty, but who cares? I don't care. Let's see. I want to do it across and then fold it in some t kind of way. Oh, but, 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 but I think I still need to manage to, yeah, I still need to find out how long it is. Where's my book? I don't think it, well, it used to say how long these things were. Where mm, does it say? No, it doesn't say how big these, no, it doesn't say. Shoot, I still have to measure it. I want to do exactly the half of it. Funny thing is I have a small ruler. I have a wrong ruler. <laughs> Tongue twisting. I have a long ruler, but I have to go to my crafting uh, table. But I just came from there. And I don't have uh, the energy to go back there. Because I already um, a bit annoyed I can't find my waxes. So that's, I think, 15, 30, 30, 30 and, and a half centimeters. Okay, so I can't do it. I can't do it exactly the half of this. I have to do it again. Wait, measure it again. Oh, you can't see it. See, I need to do it properly. Oh, the paper cutting machine is in the way, and uh, I don't, I forgot where the, how the thing is called. I'm gonna do it the other side to um, put a little dot. So I'm gonna do it like proper, super nice. So it's not exactly the half of it. I'm gonna uh, put the dot on the f number 15, so 15 centimeters. Oh, I'm stuck. And find the spot. Wait. I think it's exactly right. Put it somewhere. So very nice. Okay. Oh. And then go up and down. Oh, I did it in... Ah! I, yeah, you can still see here. I stopped somewhere in the middle and then I... I should have done it like in one stroke. But now you can... I don't know if you can see it. Can you see it? You can see there is a hesitation here in the paper because I stopped. That was not smart of me to do that. I should have known better. Oh, that's a song. <laughs> I have listened so many old songs because I'm an old soul. Okay, so you have this part and this part. What's that? Yeah, dotted. So it's white with uh, rose. Uh, rose. Yeah? No. <laughs> we call it in Dutch rosa. So in English it's pink. So my mind, my mind, I think it's running a while now. So this is... I don't know where the thing is. This is how you make envelopes, but I have a scoring, 
is a sc- ah, this is a scoring board. Yes, I have the thing that's called the bone folder. I don't know where I've put it. Like I said, I'm a kind of a messy girl. Hence, the table is so so <clears throat> messy. I don't like it, but I have to make do whatever I have because. I'm really pressing time to clean the kitchen table and I need to get out of here because I think it's nice to sit here with my kids. Well, they are not kids anymore. I call them my kids, but they are teens. I think I'm going to take this uh, paper cutting machine away because I don't have the spot on the table. This, I don't know where I put it. I think I put it. There. Oh yeah, there, uh, I have a paper cutting machine that not only score or uh, cut the paper in half, uh, there's also another button. This is clearly not the one. I have another paper cutting machine that has another button that makes the score. So it makes the line in the paper but not cut through the paper. That one is not this one. That is the... Uh, Beige, beige, or vanilla color one, but this is the black paper cutting machine, and this one only cuts, so I don't have the other one, so that means I have to do it by hand, or just folding it and see where I land. Um, I don't know, should I do it like this? I don't, oh, I'm, I don't know. Because if I do it myself manually, that means I have to find uh, a ruler and then find something that is not cutting but still make the indentation. So if I if I had two rulers, I had to, I had to um, like to do it like this and then score with the ruler. You can also do it with the ruler, but it has to be a sturdy ruler, not a bendy one, I guess. Because if you do it like this, you probably will break it in, in two pieces. So, best is to use a bone folder or something that has a dull point. So, don't, don't use a ball point. Let's see. If I, oh, the funny thing is, I don't know where I've put my bone folder. I have two of them. Can you, can you, can you believe it? I have two bone folders and still, I don't know where I've put it. The fun of being so messy. Okay. Mmm. Never mind. Like I said, I don't know how to do what I'm planning to do. So, see how much paper I need to fold. Because I want to have a little bit uh, spot left. But if I just like fold it like I showed you before, then the line will be here. You can see clearly the line here. I'm not sure if that's the line that I'm happy with. But because there is from the point from the leaf till here, till here, there's a space for uh, a finger in between. So I'm not sure if I want to have that or I will do it more inwards so I can have to fold more closer to the leaf. So I don't know um, what I'm going to decide. You know, that's why I'd rather do it prepared because now if I don't if I do crafting on the go on the spot here while I'm videoing and I have <laughs> I'm more a decisive person but that's because I'm well prepared. Okay, occasions like this when I'm not prepared then I I don't know what to decide and I don't like that if I don't know what to decide so because it uh, in my mind I, I think about um I don't want to use the word wasting your time but it clearly show that crafting is more like you, you decide whatever it pops in your mind it you, you don't always have to be so confident and know what you're doing it's still um, handmade? I don't know. I don't think that's the best word. Uh, uh, mm, tailor-made? Yeah, I think that's the best word. Tailor-made. 
So I think I'll still want to have a finger in uh, space in between. So because I have here a beautiful spot of the rose, I still want to show. I'm, I'm doing with my nails the. Like this, and I see that they didn't cut it the best. See? Okay. Oh, I don't know if you can see it. No, that's not the best choice. Can you see it? This, so I didn't cut it really good enough. You still see there's a little bit like that. So you can do it simply by cutting it. No, the, the little piece that, that you can clearly see sticking out. If it annoys you that bad, so that's what you can do. Uh, oh yeah, I found, I found, wait. Um, like I said, I had some things already um, put on the table to see if I, maybe I will use it, maybe not. Oh, see? Can you see the fold in here? It's not really, I don't know if you can see it. I wanted, I wanted something that's more pressing on here. No. I want to have a beautiful crease, but apparently it's not. I used a pin, a peg. Yeah, you still see the creases. I can see, still see here, like three, four creases in here, in one crease. But never mind. I, um, the reason that it's like this because, like I said, I don't have the bone folder. But never mind. Uh, I still want to put something in here. Uh, I grabbed some of these paper blocks. They're called paper blocks, but in English it's called paper pads. This is called a pad. Uh, I'm gonna find a design to match the ah this one because the oh, this one is about roses. So I thought I had something. Put in here. I want another one, uh, a yellow one. Yeah, something that breaks the color. So um, this one I thought, but I thought by myself, mm, too much blue in here. I want a yellow one. I see here a yellow one, but I have to find where it's exactly. Ah, this one. Oh no, mm, don't like that. It's hard. When you see something that's nice and then you see the actual, and then you think, oh no, that's not the one. So here is the color that I like. Let's see if that's more suitable than the yellow one. I want more dusty yellow, but not that. So that's why I didn't use it. Is that strange? Why can't I find this one? Is it? No, it can't be. I can't find it. Oh, this. Is it this one? It's the dark. Oh, no, I still want them. some dusty, I mean, a very light color of that. That's not the one I want. Mm, this one is also nice, but I don't think... Hmm... Okay, I'm gonna grab one. 
Maybe this one is also nice. The ombre paper. Mm. I'm searching more dusty yellow tone. This one is nice, isn't it? Mm, no. It can be, but that's not my first option. Mm. Let's see. Well, mm, I can't decide. I have found some lot of uh, pads. This one I'm not going to use. Oops, sorry. I found a lot of pads, a uh, vellum paper or vellum pattern. So I'm going to use these two, I guess. Let's see this one if it's nice. I want something that's soft yellow, but I can't find it. It is still too orangey. Hmm. Uh oh. Oh. Hmm. I think I'll go for this one then. The heart, can you see it? Hearts, heart film pattern. Oh, what's going on here? Oh, look at that. Let me see if I can cut it beautifully straight. Nice. Okay. Mm, paper cutting machine. Oh. See. So my plan is like I want to find a color. So I think I'm gonna do it like this. So it's nice. And what's sticking out, maybe I can do with double sided tape. I think I'll do double sided tape. Like this. So that means I have some little bit of paper that sticks out. I can cut it nicely. And then put another one like this. But I want this. This is too busy. I need some co uh, paper that is not that busy that I can put in between before I put this one. how much I can cut so as you can see clearly this much I want to cut it out and like I said I need something basic in between and I don't know which one um, do, 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 do. oh wait yeah yeah that's that's oh. I have something in my mind let me grab it so I have these coloring pages uh, or coloring book and I want to use one of those I don't know which one so let's see which I have a whole stack here next to me so I can choose which one this is nice oh this is nice I'm going to cut like that
Yeah, I'm going to use double-sided tape. Normally, um, I'm not a fan. Uh, I'm not a fan of using double-sided tape because I've had a little bit trouble because the paper that I used before were too thick and it's um, maybe the glue, the adhesive behind the back, the backing. No, it's with double-sided tape. It's not only the backing. Uh, <laughs> The adhesive or the glue is not too strong, so it won't hold the heavy paper stock or uh, design paper. But these are quite thin, these three. This one and the coloring, coloring paper is quite thick, so I think I want to do it on, uh, in layers. I, I think I have to show you. So you can't put too much paper uh, in the seam or in the crease because you can't f fold it anymore. So that's why I want to do it like next to the crease and build it up like this. So for example, I'm going to do it like this and then mm, this one more closer to the crease like that. And then the other one like that. So it it builds up to the more to decrease. So every layer that I put, I put double sided tape. I think that's the best. That's the best solution for that. So I'm gonna take everything out here on the table um, on the left because I have quite some um, space problem. If I don't mind saying it. I'm going to put it next to me. Oopsie. Oh. All right. So I think that's what I'm going to do. Hmm. Let's start with one. I'm going to use the sunlight to see where I'm going to cut it. And... Oh, wait. Other way around. And then take the paper out and then score it. Ta-da! This one I will use for, I don't know, for this project or for another project. I don't know. So now, let's see. This is, I think this is a little bit other, uh, the ugly side because as you can see it's a bit frayed because the the knife is a little bit dull because paper, you know, paper can make the knives dull. So I'm gonna do it like this. There's my double sided tape. Oh no. I don't know where I've put my double sided tape. Oh, here, I found it. Kind of blind. <laughs> Never mind. Here, but I'm not going to use the entire strip. I'm going to cut it in half. I've um, seen my mailbox that uh, I have a newsletter on it, and a, some a particular store in, in the Netherlands, or let me say, in Rotterdam. I th yeah, I think it's uh, the Netherlands. They have, oh wait, I need to put it somewhere. Um, what do I have to say? Oh yeah, they have that American double-sided tape. That is the red one. And when you unroll it, then it's uh, transparent. But I found it uh, quite suited or beautiful price. I think it was one year or something. And normally these are these go these Amer I call it American double sided tape. These are I I think they are more sturdier or how do you say the glue is more of better quality, but I'm not sure. But this because this one is like one euro uh, under one euro ninety. I think it was one euro eighty nine. At the top of my head. I'm not sure. I have to go back and look for it. I 
think I'm gonna buy at least one. I'm not sure buy two. So you see, there's a lot of paper dust. I got the paper dust. So I don't want to stick the top part. I want to. Oops. Exactly. And then once I found it's lined up good, then I can press it. So here you can open it. Ta-da! And then the next one is the so I need to cut it. This looks like a poppy, a poppy flower, you know the red one with the black uh, center. I think I'm gonna leave this one high, that means I only cut the, the, the fray, the ugly bit off. Yeah, I'm gonna do that. So as you can see, I told you before, my knife of my paper cutting machine is kind of dull. You can see it's frayed, but it's, I'm not gonna, you know, the, the actual professional crafters, they want to do it like perfectly. They will grab a pair of scissors and then, then cut it more neatly, more sharp cut. But I, I like the charm of it, you know, I don't mind. I just want only the, the little bit here taken off. Or I can do it like this. Same thing. Oh yeah, that's the thing. I can go one twice back and forth. That makes it more ah more perfect. I forgot about that. You see, when you've not done like crafting for quite some time, you don't do it regularly, then you start to have like a little bit of amnesia. I particular have some kind of amnesia. I'm so forgetful. I'm gonna do it like this. Nice. Let's see. was not smart. I'm doing like this. You know, I can't wait till my crafting table is 100% neatly organized. Then I won't have hopefully no trouble finding my stuff. Because I see a lot of people, the crafters, that have like, hey, uh, make, um, what is it? Make over a room, make over a crafting room. I'm like, oh, I, I'd rather, I, I'd rather have that too. But they are like uh, backed or sponsored by some particular company. And I'm like, oh, I want that too. But, you know. There's no chance that I will get one of these nice supporters or sponsors because I don't have a lot of subscribers and I don't mind that, you know. I'd rather grow slowly than fast. Let's see where the I need. Okay. 
see. Oh, it's still crooked. Oh, shoot. I'm scared. Oh, luckily it didn't. Oh. Uh, luckily I did not, um, how do you say it? Run over with my nails. That was really something. I think I'm going to bend it the other way. And now I'm going to crease it. Yes. What's this? Something in between. What's that? I don't know what that is. Oh, glue dot. That's not nice. Now I can crease it. Yes. Crease, crease, crease. So as you can see, I did not put the double-sided tape here because I only need it till this far. So now it's nicely glued to next one. Right. And the next one is this one. I think that's okay. Oh, I'm gonna use this part. So I don't so there is here a white line. I'm gonna use that so I can use a washi piece of washi tape to put over the white line. So I don't have like, you know, these uh, paper pieces that that's gonna come out of it. I don't want to have a lot of garbage. So I'm gonna do that. This one. I'm looking for how am I gonna do this by folding it like this. I have some kind of pocket. Hmm. Don't know what I'm gonna do. Never mind. I'm gonna cut it. So I'm gonna use, I'm gonna do it like this and then fold it so I can have like a pocket. Mm, but now this part, the hearts are like upside down. <sighs> How am I gonna deal with that? Mm, I think that's okay. I don't mind that, you know, I don't mind it. Let's see. Yeah, that's nicely done. So I'm gonna put at the oh perfectly against the line. Ta da! And that's the back side, but I'm still because I want to create a pocket. I need here. And here, pieces of double-sided tape. I'm gonna grab this piece. So I don't know how long this video is gonna be, so I'm sorry. Uh, beforehand, like, it might get quite long, but as long as you have a fun, you know. If I did not film this, I think it would be like three hours just doing one piece. Because I'm then doing also uh, 
with the metal dies that I bought I'm gonna use those to cut some samples Squatch it like that. Squatch it. That means press really hard on the double sided tape. So the double sided tape will uh, be glued immediately onto the paper. Like that. Well, I'm, I don't have the use for that. I'm going to turn it over. And I don't mind, it's a little bit short, you know? I don't mind. It's okay. It's okay. Take the ruler out underneath. Let's see. And then, ta da! See, I've created a pocket. And then. The other sheet, like this, let's see how much, um, I don't need to cut it, I can fold it, I think that's a better way, I think I'm gonna do that, I'm gonna put it like so, because I want to see on the other side, Oh, uh, wait. Can I, shall I do it perfectly? Neatly? Or just a little bit on the short side? To make it a little bit different? Or shall I do it like this? Like halfway? Halfway? Well, almost halfway. Let's do that. That will be totally different. So I'm going to double side tape here. So I can put it like so, and then when you turn it, then there is here a side pocket. So that means uh, this and this side, I'm going to do double sided tape, like that. I think I'm good. I think tomorrow I'm gonna go to Sister Anna Grana, try to see if they have um, wax. I really can't find it. It's so weird. I have really a big case with a lot of different colors, and it's quite heavy, the case. And I have another case, and it's more like a see-through one, but shorter. And those are more the the pinkish red um, shade oh, I'm gonna put this aside because oh have you seen my my elephant pin I don't remember why I bought it it's weird I have it for oh that's Dutch heel heel long um, I mean in the, in English very long time I'm gonna make some fun. Um, use a washi tape and put it exactly on the side. Let's do that. It's gonna be fun. Let's see. Oh wait. Uh, if I glue it like this, No, no, it's not perfect. Shoot. I see a little... No. I saw there was a little bit of paper sticking out and I wanted to do it exactly perfectly. Just on the... Nice. Ta-da! That's what I want. Let's, let me show you. See? squeeze it so you can see like hey this is a pocket wow okay this side I'm gonna do the upside tape um, I'm gonna put it in here for temporarily 
see death watch oh so okay I have two things to do tomorrow I need to go to Stan Grand to buy some wax and I need to go to the other semi bookstore uh, semi stationery store to get this American double sided tape you know, I can order it online, but they, I don't think they will be happy if I only order one, one or two of the double-sided tape. It is like less than four euros. They are not keen to that. <laughs> so I have to go in person, go to the store. I, I dropped my uh, paper cutting machine uh, flappy thing. Let's see. So... There's some dust. What's that? Okay. Like that. And then put beautiful wash tape. Let me see. Is there some beautiful washi tape here? Uh -oh. Oh. This one or that one? Oh, I didn't show you this one? Or that one? The butterfly. I'm doing on purposely different kind of washi tape for this vellum paper. Oh no! <coughs> <coughs> oh sorry! Oh. Yeah, I have hay fever. And I think I've... I, I think I had caught a cold yesterday. I was sitting in front of my door. I think I was kind of dumb. I didn't check the temperature of t uh, yesterday. Uh, I was filming something. Oh yeah, I was filming the part two of Daphne's uh, diary, uh, edition number four. After filming, I was checking myself. I'm like, what is the temperature? I was thinking like... Four o'clock or five o'clock till six o'clock. And... I'm using this one, the butterfly for here. And I was sitting there, I think I caught a, a cold. Because when I finally went back inside, I had a feeling like my whole body is cold, but I I don't feel like sick. But in my my body wouldn't wouldn't get warm. And I, once I was inside my house. I thought like, well, let me uh, boil hot water with my electric uh, Wait. with my electric uh, cook cooker cooker to boil some water to have a big mug of tea. I want to score it. Oh, that's completely different what I used to do. That's nice. Okay, now I have a problem. <laughs> this is the front, actually. But when you open it, then actually this is the front. Oh, dilemma. I should have <laughs> noticed it more before. Never mind. I don't care. Let's do it like this. This is the front. 
Um, yeah. Let's see. I need something uh, very big and flashy in front. I don't know what. I don't know what, but I will see. Yeah, I will see. We'll see, we'll see. No worries. So I have here empty packing here also. That is two things. Two things. And here. So I need like three die cuts for that. I don't know if I can find a die perfect die cut because I tried to think about how I'm gonna cut these up. I wanna cut these up, yes. I'm not gonna do it with scissors because I'm gonna do it with it. Oh, what do you say? It, it will take me some time to do that. And I don't feel like doing that way. So if I if I wanna do it uh, really fast, I'm gonna use the paper cutting machine for that. Okay, it was not perfect. Never mind. But still I did it more fast if I had to do it with pair of scissors and fussy cutting it. I don't feel like fussy cutting it. Bit lazy today. Don't mind me. Little bit crooked, but everywhere. Like that. So you have your strip of paper. I think I wanted this. Oh, better do it up. Yeah. Oh yeah, sometimes wait. Sometimes the inside has a little bit of these small paper thingies. I call it paper dust, so with uh, with this thing. I don't know, um, I bought it on Aliexpress, but they didn't mention what it's called. But I think um, in Dutch we call it Prim. I don't know how to call it in English. Prim. For, I use it when I have metal dies and they have like small holes and I used it to prick on the spot. So the paper small holes will then I'll push it uh, from the back out then the metal dies have beautiful holes in there due to this but I I especially bought this you can simply use um, toothpick that's the most uh, inexpensive one I used to do it with a toothpick but um, the ends of the toothpick will become dull and this I wanted to have uh, a metal one so I so that's why I bought this on Aliexpress. I don't know how much money I paid for that. It was inexpensive then. Now uh, I think that Aliexpress is, has become smarter and they uh, raised the prices. I think they have seen the American counterparts. Like, hey, uh, they're not going to do that anymore. We're going to raise the prices. Woohoo. Okay. Um, I don't know where to put this because I've, if I put it here, I cannot fold it anymore. I think this is way too big. So I'm going to use this pocket like so. I need something here in front. I don't know what. Hmm. I think I'm going to use this beautiful, uh, I have this beautiful fruit and flowers. Flake stickers. <laughs> I, was, I was not looking for the name, but I was looking for a suited, beautiful picture. I was thinking like, I have these flake stickers, but I have also the poetry pictures. We call it poetry pictures, but I don't know how you call it in America and in England. We call it in Dutch poesie plaatjes because when you, when I was small, they we had this like squared or the long version, but it's not very big notebooks. The squared one was like this, almost as big as this CD, maybe a little bit bigger, a little bit. 
and it has a beautiful front and back. The front has a picture. Um, the front and back has some certain background design. And then inside the notebook was blank. There, there was there were no lines. And you'd ask your loved ones, your family, your friends, or your teachers, or whoever you think. When you were small, you asked them, can you please write a poem or a prose? And they would do it. I used to have those, but I had told this story way, way, way back that um, my friend stole it from me. And the night that she stole it, and inside every poem has my name, like, Hey Mildred, or Hello Mildred. And then it's the poem or the prose. But she used the, we call it Tipex, and... I think the English people and the American people call it whitener. It's in a small bottle with a brush a brush inside. So you take it out and then you brush the name out with the whitener. And all the pages were like white, whited out. And I, I knew it was my, I knew it was my poesy album, poetry notebook. Because it definitely said them, my aunt is called Tracy, and she says, hello, niece, and, and then underneath it says, your aunt Tracy. And I know for sure that my friend, her aunt, is never called aunt Tracy. So that was the, the thing. I, it looks like I hold grudges, but it's not. I'm just telling you a story. Maybe a bit more <laughs> vivid in my mind, a bit more annoyed, but hey. So this beautiful plum... Uh, flake stick is kind of small for this space so I need something here to cover that so you, so you know that is a pocket so I need to find something to create a pocket so how, how am I going to do that I'm searching for paper is there here yes I'm going to use this paper like that where's my sticker I've lost it where did I put it wait I've lost my sticker oh Did I put it back? Yeah, I think I've put it back. Well, never mind. I'm going to grab one of these. Ta-da. Then do it like this. Do it like so. So you know this is, this is the... Oops. Then I'm going to cut it. I think I did crooked. Never mind. Cut it a little bit more straight. So the point of the story that I told you about my friend, my so-called friend, I don't consider her a friend anymore because she did a lot of bad things to me. Time and time again, I just forgave her and end of the story, I disowned her <laughs> as a friend. Yeah, I'm laughing now, but I wasn't laughing back then. I was literally crying because I lost my friend. I thought she was my best friend, but she didn't, apparently, did not consider me as her best friend. You know why I knew that? Because my other friend, she, uh, she considered my other friend her best friend. Well, they said it to each other. You are my best friend. You are my best friend. And I'm like, yeah. Hmm. Thanks. Now I know it. Thank you for telling me. So that's, um, what I wanted to try to say is, you, you will meet a lot of friends on the way, you know, uh, in life. I have always problem with these flake stickers. And the reason is I've cut my nails. I don't like long uh, fingernails. And I always have problems with this. Well... You know, I when I film things, I don't like to edit things out. So this is going to be a big joke for you to see me struggling. And what I'm trying to say is, uh, if you lose some friends on the way in life, you know, if you need it, cry a little bit, but please don't cry over them. 
because they already don't consider you as a friend, you will certainly have uh, time to find better friends than when they left you. Don't, so, like I said, don't worry, don't fret about it. Wait, I think I've done something. It's not that I've done something wrong. Wait. Wait, wait. I'm going to put it somewhere. Wait, wait. Wait. I have something in my mind. Wait. Indulge me. So I bought this. At Action. They have these smaller ones. Where are the smaller ones? So I have here a golden one, I have here a pearly one, and I have here a salmon one. Let's use the salmon one. I don't want uh, the black and white, this one. I don't want that one. Uh, where shall I put it? I'm going to do it across the uh, horizontally. Oh. Oh. Because uh, in my life, when I've lost these two friends, my so-called friends, I found better friends. So that's my that's my my advice. So don't worry about it. You'll find better friends than you want the ones you had. I don't know where to put that. Okay. As you can see, um, this, I've noticed like every glitter washi tape is not really sticking that well. So my advice is just put some double sided tape. I take it out completely. Oh, get off. Get out. I put it here in the center. Yeah, across where I'm living, there's a building. They don't have pipes when their water is running somewhere and they straight run down at the neighbor and that's stupid there should have been a pipe running down the building but it isn't so now um, the poor neighbor downstairs will get like well he won't get it on top of his head but that will stain the whole spot you know you will get um, I'm looking for the word schimmel it's in, it's in Dutch Schimmel. How do you say it in English? I don't know. You know. You, you, I think you understand what I mean. Oh, wait, where is my ding? My ding. My plums? I forgot. Where did I, oh, here. <laughs> I thought by myself, I lost the plums. Ta-da! Nice. Still need to put double sided tape here. So, how am I going to do that? Oh, that was not smart. Oh, let me see if I can take it nicely and then redirect it a little bit. Ta da! Alright. I think I've dented a bit, but never mind. I'm gonna put more double sided tape here. Let's see. Like this. I'm still looking for the word schimmel, schimmel. How do you say it in English? Mold! That's it! The word is mold! You see? I will find a way sooner or later. I will find a way to find the word.
have a little bit left. I need to find, uh, like I said, the three, three die cuts to put on the spot. Wait, uh, I had that little thing. Let's use it for the center, for the fun of it, okay? Oh, wait, wait, wait. Like that. Ta -da! So you know that's a pocket. That's done. Still here I have some things left. I still don't know what to put in there. Is this good? I'm not sure about it. I think I'm gonna cut it in half. Ta -da! Put this one here in the back. I still don't know what, what I'm gonna put in here uh, on the side. <sighs> well, well, doesn't matter. I will find something to put in here. I've already put some um, die cuts that you can. Cut your, uh, yourself, well, I mean the one that received this. So I have, like I said, one, two, oh no, four. I need four beautiful things to put in here. And I found a beautiful dandelion stamp that I bought. I can I want to put it like this, but because this is a white with pink dots, I'll find a beautiful piece of colored paper and then do it like this it's some kind of frame so I'm gonna put two different kinds of colors and then do it like that so that will be the the end result so this is dandelions and I'm gonna write my name underneath fat dandelions and like I said I'm gonna put some um, die cuts in here in here in here and there, I'm not sure what I'm going to put in here. Um, maybe I'm going to use this paper. Paper and make it a belly bed. Like this. So I can put here top and bottom uh, thin stripes of double sided tape. So I can do it like this. And um, there is a picture that I can use. There's no picture. Is there a picture? Wait. Oops, I've dropped it. And then I'll put some things in here. And then put a lot of, I don't know, die cuts and then put it in here. So this is the belly band. So that's going to be fun. Oh, and then I've, I need to do something here. I think... I can write the name to where I'm going to send it. And like I said, I need to find a beautiful picture of here. Like I said, I don't know yet. And then I'm going to be done. So I'm not going to finish it because I'm going to send this to someone I know. And I don't want to spill the beans. Um, yeah, that's it. I'm going to stop filming. Oh, it's all, all, already over one hour. Uh, one hour and 15 minutes. So I'm going to stop filming. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. And I'll see you next time. Bye-bye, everyone. Sorry, this is an unfinished <laughs> snail mill. Sorry for that. Bye.